welcome back to a new video. So today I'm really up close and personal because we're going to be focusing on brows today. We're going to be trying this new device thing that I got online and I feel like I got a bit ripped off for it because I paid £15 for it but then my mum got the same on Wish for like £2 so it definitely got ripped off and it literally feels like plastic. But we are still going to try it and before we jump into the video I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Emily B so thank you so much for following me for so long and just being a lovely supporter. If you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment okay so this is my brow situation you they look all right but they're so messy i just want them to be a bit neater like i need neater brows and i don't really get them threaded or anything done to them i just like pluck this bit usually trim my hairs and then shave around but this time I'm going to use this device thing. We're going to try and use it here and we're going to see if this is going to help. I'm also going to also trim them so I want to show you guys how I do my brows okay. This is going to be an all brow video but we are experimenting as well. This is literally the ad I fell on like look. So I have mine here it's a pinky one. Yep. Uh, I can't believe I paid £15, like it's literally plastic, it just feels like really cheap. <laughs> but we're gonna try it anyways. So when you turn it on it kind of lights up and there's a torch and there's this really loud noise. And you kind of just push the... Just need to push the little button up and then down. That looks like it's literally shaving. Okay, so it works better rather than using it flat on the skin, it works better when you kind of go like this, like a pen. I mean, I'm really, I'm not mad at it to be honest. Wait, do you know, I need to make uh, like t-shirts that say I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Like literally that's all I say. So then I have these little, these are like cuticle cutters but I use them for my brows. And I literally, I just kind of push my hair up and then I cut it. Cause I don't like those really long like hairs. So then when you like do your brows, it just looks so much better. Just look at the difference between that one and that one already. Just be careful not to like get your eyelashes caught in it because it will literally cut your eyelash. So just be careful with that. I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows quickly. So then afterwards, I just put a bunch of layers of this clear mascara by Collection. Like mine's so disgusting, but it's so good. Especially if you like fluffy brows. I 
I'm not gonna lie, my skin does burn a little bit here, so it kind of does scratch the skin a little bit. I mean, not majorly, but I'm just worried about like scarring. So I have to keep you guys updated on that. I'm really happy with that. Look at the difference of... <gasps> Guys, can you see that? Good brow. You nasty brow. I've been loving this bushy brow by Lime Crime. It's so thin. I literally just like add little hair strokes to this bit. Okay, so that's one brow done. Alright, so this is what my brows are looking like. I am happy with them. I need to be a bit more light-handed when I trim them, but you know, I'm really happy. Like I love how you can see each hair. And that's why I love that Lime Crime bushy brow thing. It just really helps to imitate a hair. Definitely recommend that to you guys. Now when it comes to the actual device, I don't know if I like it because I'm scared I'm gonna get scars and also when it comes to like this bit I prefer pulling from the root so like either tweezing threading if I ever do get that but I usually tweeze them out um, so this is more like shaving and you can like kind of see like stubbiness to it because it's just cut the hair off um, I don't mind that on the top but I don't know why like when it comes to underneath the skin's a bit thinner and I don't like shaving I just like to pull it out from the root so yeah it's really quick and easy if you can get it on wish for two pounds go ahead but i don't know if i would recommend this like i can still see like stubbiness under here and i just want to go at it with a tweezer and pull them out now <laughs> i don't know it was fun to try though so let's just do a before and after of those brows because they were looking crazy before and now they're looking all like you know flaky you know carved out i mean they're not the best but i try to get them like the, you know at least presentable anyways i hope you enjoyed this quick little video and apart from like the razor thing um that's usually how i do my brows and tidy them up and i usually just tweeze underneath and shave the top with my razor that i use for my face and that's all i do and then just fill them in use those clear brow gel really like the lime crime brow thing i definitely recommend that to you guys if there's one brow thing i would recommend is that bushy brow thing so yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next one.